Much of the eastern half of the United States is in the fourth day of a searing heat wave. Warnings are out for millions of people from the Midwest to the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. Temperatures in Washington and Philadelphia are expected to reach well into the 90s. New York City, for instance, could set a record for power usage with a triple-digit heat index. Meteorologist Elise Finch of our New York station, WCBS, joins us. She will be with us in just a second. In the meantime, we've got Michio Kaku joining us at the table. Yeah, Michio, welcome. How are you, Professor? Glad to be on the show. So you have described this heat wave as a dome, a heat dome. What does that mean? A heat dome is a huge stagnant mass of hot, humid air that can linger for days or weeks and be up to about a million square miles of real estate. Now, it's a high pressure area, meaning that it bears down on lower masses of air, creating a dome that seals in the heat. And remember that it suppresses cloud formation. That's why the clouds are crystal, it's crystal clear outside right now, which also means that sunlight can come and even make things hotter. Now, the good news is they are temporary. Eventually, the dome breaks up. The jet stream pushes them out to the ocean. So the good news is it'll pass. But I don't understand. Why does it happen in the first place? Why does it create that dome? Well, we have stagnant pockets of air, and we have the jet stream interacting with them. And, and because, uh, you know, because of the instability of the air, you will find irregularities and randomness. Now, the bad news, however, is that this could be part of a larger trend. Uh, Last month, we had record-breaking temperatures hit California, uh, the American Southwest. Death Valley registered 129 degrees, the hottest temperature ever recorded in the history of the United States for the month of June. And this could be part of a larger pattern because, let's face it, summers are getting longer. By several days, winters are getting shorter. But summers are getting longer, but isn't it supposed to be hot in the summer? You know, dog days of, of summer. And, you know, here we are in the month of July. What makes this so different? Because to me, after it hits 90-something degrees, it's just hot, hot, hot. What makes a difference is we think that uh, what happened last month was a wake-up call. No one expected these scorching, blistering temperatures to linger so long, creating economic damage with crop failures and, as a consequence, higher food prices. So we think that this could be part of a larger trend. Something now, you we have to live with, you think? It could be a new normal. Now, some people say, aha, global warming. But you can't say that because there's no single incident that could prove or disprove global warming. It's an average effect. And the average effect is that the Earth is heating up by one degree over the last 100 years. The last decade was the hottest decade ever recorded in the history of science. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean for all of us who live on this planet? <laughs> well, <laughs> the bottom line is, first of all, uh, <laughs> air conditioning. Uh, people, people are going to buy air conditioning uh, well, units. They're going to have to consume more electricity. And more people are going to die, especially the elderly. In yeah. Europe, over 100,000 people have perished because of the scorching heat waves in the last decade. Food prices will rise. We're going to see more casualties. Mm -hmm. Our way of life will change as summer becomes longer and winters become shorter. You're always full of sunshine when you come. Yeah, too much sunshine <laughs> yeah, this time. Yeah. That's right. Good to see you, Professor. Good to see you. Charlie?